Hello everyone and welcome to another new video and this one gonna be on what things Aquaman the movie should have in 2018. One of the first few things that Aquaman the movie should have in 2018 is the trident of Neptune which is one of the seven relics of Atlantis which gonna create another story arc maybe in the next upcoming movies of Aquaman. The Trident of Neptune is something like the Batmobile or like the Bat Belt of Batman. We need to see that with Aquaman. That's something for sure we need to see it in the movie. Next on, we need to see that Aquaman is the joke and the hero of the movie. Because that's what's gonna create the emotions and the conflicts between, uh, you know, Aquaman and the surface people, you know. They're going to be doing jokes about him, about his powers, uh, about uh, that he is not useful at all. And that's where the trench going to attack the surface people. And that's where he's going to save the day and he's going to become this superhero which everyone going to respect and love for what he does. Later on, we need to see a team up between Mira and Aquaman. We really need to see Mira because she is... A great character, to be quite honest, you know, uh, she came from Exibil, another uh, part of Atlantis, which is a forgotten part. Uh, she has a pretty good backstory. One of her main missions were to kill Aquaman. I think it's gonna create a great story arc in the upcoming movies of Aquaman. I think we should see Mira in this movie. It could be a build-up for an upcoming movie with the Exibil people. Next on, we need to see the trench monsters executed in a great way, in a CGI, you know, in a good CGI. We need to see that because they were executed in a great way in the comic book. They need to follow up a little bit of the concept of the comic book and they could create, uh, you know, hellish monsters. They could go after the surface people, killing them, eating them, because the surface people are the food, the source of their living, and that's gonna just make everyone horrified to go for the beach for at least a month or two. Next on, we need to see a full force of the trench monsters, you know. Uh, I think that's gonna create uh, a havoc and the surface, and that's where Aquaman and Mira are gonna get called up, and that's where they're gonna take care of it. Now here's something else we need to see in the movie. We need to see the origins of Arthur, how he discovered his powers, uh, how was he born, you know, his father, who's his father, who's his mother, uh, how things got together for him. We need to see that see, uh, origins in the movie. Really, we really need to see that uh, origins in the movie, either in the start or either in the fight, you know, while maybe he's fighting off these monsters, every hit he takes, maybe he can remember a few stuff that he did with his, with his dad, how he discovered about his powers, how he discovered about himself and who's his mother, I think we need to see a little bit of that, a little bit of his brother, Omen, which I think gonna create another good story arc in the future for Aquaman and the Justice League as well. Next on, we need to see Professor Sheen, which is an obsessed professor with Atlantis, Aquaman, and the Atlantean people. He loves to study them, to experiment on them, he wants to learn more about them, but Aquaman didn't allow that at first until he came to Issue number 35, which was the latest right now, and he allowed Professor Sheen to go to Atlantis and have a look at it. And I think Professor Sheen could create a lot, uh, you know, they could create a lot with the character himself. We really need to see him because he might be the guy who get the information to us, the viewers, on what's really happening. You know, maybe there are stuff that they're saying we won't be understanding, but Professor Sheen can explain it in a direct way. Finally, we need to see the big monster of the trench. We, uh, we really need to see that because that's going to be the biggest fight in the whole movie. You know, we're going to see Aquaman fighting off this big monster, which is from the trench. And I think that's where things are going to just heat up between uh, Aquaman and uh, Mira. And especially... Uh, now, because Aquaman couldn't control the trench people at first, you know, he couldn't communicate with them, he couldn't call them, uh, call upon them at all until later on in the issues. 
and I think they should start off with this uh, story arc. The trench, they definitely should start with it because I think it's a pretty good build up to a few different stories. Uh, what kind of directions it should take after that, I'm not sure. They could take maybe two, three different directions. One of them could be uh, the, 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 the king, um, the first king of Atlantis, which was called Atlan. He, he witnessed Atlantis uh, sinking down to the ocean. He was the first king of Atlantis. He had a, a, you know, a dark history and he's back from the dead to restore his throne from uh, Aquaman, aka Arthur. And I think that's another good story to start with. Maybe in the end of uh, that movie, maybe we could see a little bit of Omen, his brother. Maybe he want to reclaim the throne as uh, you know for himself because uh, you know Aquaman has been on the surface for quite some time. He doesn't see him worthy of it. I think they could do a lot of stuff with it, and especially in the, the arc where Atlan, the first king, uh, could come back to uh, to Atlantis. That part will be amazing for one reason or two maybe. Uh, one of them, Aquaman, gonna be fighting the king, the dead king, uh, with a good fight. You know, he's gonna be going after that dead king with everything he got. You know, we we got a lot of great scenes from the comic books. I really hope they adapt some of these scenes from the comic book into the movie. And one more thing they could do in the movie, they could basically, uh, you know allow Aquaman to call upon the trench because that's one of the things that happened in that uh, you know graphic novel you know Aquaman basically called upon the trench after he could control them so they could help him take down the king and I thought that was just a brilliant you know uh, part in that graphic novel I think it's just gonna be amazing people are gonna be like what they're back and now he can control them you could see how uh, you know, Aquaman could control them. He proved himself to be the strong king of Atlantis that he should be. And that's pretty much, guys, on what things we should get in Aquaman, the movie that's coming out in 2018. And hopefully we're going to see more of Aquaman. Really, I'm really looking forward to it. Aquaman New 52 is just a great book. Go ahead and read it. I think you guys are going to love it. And you guys are going to demand for story arcs from that book itself. And one more thing, I really would love to see uh, Jason Momoa, hopefully I pronounced his name right, I would love to see him with the short hair, 